Hello! Out in the Star Citizen verse, my name is Speculator. I wanted to go over a few controls that I figured out. I am not an elite PvP -er yet, but I'm getting a lot better. And one of the first steps was trying to get my controls dialed in. So I was going to go over the overall control system, but there's stuff not on there that I wanted to, that I have in my rudder pedals. So I wanted to go over the rudder pedals first. Now a lot of people have their uh, gas on this here pedal. This did not work for me. The range was too short. My movements were too abrupt and I didn't have fine control. So instead I used the z-axis and pushing this pedal forward while this one goes back that takes my ship forward. This pedal going forward and this pedal back takes my ship backwards and this has given me a lot more fine control. I still can't max out my SCM delimiter like the pros. I, um, in fights, I typically have to take it down to somewhere in halfway in the red. Um, but since I started doing that, way less collisions, way less jousting. Um, I'm just able to control that better. Um, I do have a quick switch to turn my SCM off if I'm running away or something like that. But this is the rudder pedal. Um, I have the attachments that goes into the wall. Uh, maybe you don't have this problem. I was told people with bigger feet tend to uh, have a problem with the gas pedal being just, they can't control it very well. Um, my feet aren't that big, but I do have that issue. And then the other thing I had to do was uh, put something under my roll around seat because when I was pushing on these pedals, it was, it was pushing me backwards. And so I've got kind of a, a redneck setup in here I, I won't I won't terrorize you with the with the picture but um, I do have the the dual joysticks they mount onto my chair so the next thing I want to show you um, I started off with buzz killers recommended dual the I have two T 16,000 M joysticks and I use most of this for my binding and I will try and put a link to all his stuff in the comments um, so one thing he has got here is this modifier and the way to do that is you use joy to key and so he's got a, the right control key it's nothing I'm gonna bump in the game or anything like that so it's a good key to have just kinda in the middle of nowhere mounted for, for this purpose so wherever you see this modifier that mean that's what it does for that particular setup so we'll talk about that program first. I have, I believe, I'm up to three programs now that, uh, three programs that I've had to download to get everything working. So, um, my, there's joystick one, two, and three, that means, so one of the, those is a rudder pedal, the other one is, uh, the other two are my thrust masters. So my, my left alt, this is my um, I have this mapped here. This is the way I can get a joystick button to map to Discord. I use this program for that. So whenever I hit this, and I'm, that means I'm talking in Discord. And that is this. Uh, where to go? Oops, I blocked it. So yeah, so that's VoIP push to talk, and it is also my my uh, Discord button. The other one is. Nope, that's not it. So there we go. This is my other joystick, right control, and that is the modifier like I was talking about. So the other thing I forgot to talk about on my rudder pedals is what actually happens when I push those pedals down. And when I push this right pedal down, that is my boost. When I push my left pedal down, that is my space brake. I don't use the space brake very often. I've found that if I'm about to collide with something or if I'm in a bind, it is much better to strafe out of the way. I think of these spaceships more like riding a motorcycle than stopping a car. Um, when you're riding a motorcycle, stopping isn't always your best bet. Sometimes you gotta find your escape route and go and, and move out of the way or turn or um, sometimes you can't stop and you gotta figure something out. So anyways, I found spaceships to be the same. If you disagree with me, I would love to hear your opinion in the comments, but um, sometimes we need more subtle movements in the spaceship. We don't want to hammer down on everything. 
and motorcycles kind of the same way you don't want to you don't ever want to let like you know just squeeze brakes or uh or do jerky movements you want to be kind of smooth so we went over a couple modifications or did we on this so we'll go over what my hat does so what i had to change for my hat you see the modifier increase power to weapons and max power to hold well this was a squeeze of this left trigger for the modifier and then hold for the max power to weapons. I've found that these professional pilots, I'm, I'm not claiming I'm there yet, but I'm on my way, they do, they go through these max power to weapons, max power to shields, max uh, power to, or reset power, I don't know how often they reset power, or all power to thrust. They go like back and forth between these three settings essentially. And uh, you got, I needed to do it much more faster than what this setup was providing me. So now if I tap this, it goes full weapons. If I just tap this, it goes full shields. If I tap this one, it goes full, uh, full power to thrust. And my only problem is often this left one is detecting the up or down and it is not giving me power to weapons and that sucks. I don't know how to fix that. Um, if I could make make it detect diagonal maybe and still go left that would probably fix that but I haven't figured out how to do that yet uh, a couple other changes so I don't need to stray forward or backwards with my y-axis this is now up and down because um, I control that with my foot pedals so so now I can kind of I have really good control with the pitch and yaw over here and then all the all my strafes are programmed left right up down into this left joystick uh, let's see what else oh, so I got rid of boost here this is now my chaff and flare because you'll notice this was a decoy so I um, I actually left this one so I hold down the uh, modifier go right that is my chaff and then this button is my flare I don't you don't have a lot of chaff in this game so or noise as it's called so you don't have to worry about that very often I think that is most of what I do. Um, the I don't use R13 for um, or R yeah R13 here for this lock index. I actually have modifier down on the hat, um, and then regular down is target nearest hostile. Uh, modified down is nearest I might want that button back nearest attacker that probably looks like it'd be a handy button but I don't have it right now it is actually lock the index and also and so pin unpin index one so that are the those are those the controls I had to modify just trying to get get good as they say uh cruise oh yeah yeah this is another one speed delimiter on off i took it off the mod i reversed the speed delimiter on off and cruise control because as i was saying earlier the all right rough cut there to this what was i talking about um boost and space brake those are on my pedals oh cruise control i reverse these so my speed delimiter is a, is a quick access button if i need to and then I can just slide my z-axis on my rudder pedals and hit the gas pedal and then I you know can run away if I need to uh, we talked about pin on pin target so let me we'll go ahead and try and cover it all in one video I'll show you something else all right I'm in free flight mode here I have a problem in these light fighters that's where I set my SEM, right about there. It goes up and down because the um, it's this hat. So when I'm switching power, it does go up and down, but I haven't had a big issue with that. You know, as long as it's kind of close. So I have a problem with sudden movements with my twist, especially in light fighters, and I have a heck of a time getting as much twist as I want. So what I had to do was map it to both axes on these joysticks. If you'll notice on that former diagram, you didn't need both axes. So this is one joystick turning, and this is two. Two. 
So this is one, two, one, two. I'm able to do a lot more fine, you know, a lot more precise movements. And I just tested this out in Pirate Swarm. I did just fine. I tested it out in Battle Royale. I, of course, got my ass handed to me. But at no point was I like, gosh, I wish I, I, I didn't even use both sticks. I just used this speed. And I think for until, if you're like me, you're just trying to get good, this is all you need for a while. And then um, it probably becomes much more important if you're out in the verse and you're in some some slow ship, you know, maybe a Hercules or a Constellation, then then you need this, but at least you, you have that option available. And you can kind of... Anyways, um, so I guess I'll show you how I did that. Um, I have a total of three pieces of software this took, so... I got this program called Universal Control Remapper, and I was able to use a plugin that they have called Axis Merger. And it's actually down here. I'll go over why you, you do it the thirdly. But uh, this is one Z axis rotation, this is two. And the problem is it won't show up on the output. You need. V joy. You need uh, to do V joy, and and then once you install this, you have the option for having it on your output. So and that you got to do manually. You just click here and do V joy and Z axis. So um, okay. So after some monkeying around. I did have this on average, and that is how I got that to work. Who knew? I thought it would be some makes more sense to me, right? You're combining these, you're merging two axes, and I would think this plus this is what I want, but apparently average is what I want, and that's how I get that setting to work. I just wonder if that's like a, a software glitch or something in that software. It looks like it's not supported anywhere. It's a little confusing to use. I kind of had to figure it out. Um, I mean, there are instructions, and I'm very grateful someone took the time to program that for me. So that's how that works with average. The other ones I had to do first was the dampening. And who knows, maybe when I was trying this before, it wasn't an, at average. But what I ended up doing was setting these first, and the way you do, you just pick a plug in and you, you add it. And so I did a filter, and I added two filters. Uh, the default for this is negative 50 and 50. I took it to 35, and that way, 35 and 35. And um, I might monkey with this as I go a little further. And that helps. Uh, you know, it's not at the full. It's at kind of, what, 80% roughly is, is what it's taken me at. And then if I can always use both. if I But I didn't use both in both Battle Royale and Pirate Swarm. Um, I think pilots at my skill level, you know, whether they twist fast enough isn't, isn't their biggest issue. And if for some reason I'm just so good that using both those for the twist is getting in my way, I'll rethink the strategy. But for now, I think this is a great, this works very well for me. And yeah, the reason these joysticks are great, um, this one I, I broke on my right side. Uh, I got startled real quick and it snapped and it's actually got more play which is kind of what I want, but the sensor doesn't detect all that extra play. Uh, but if it did, that and maybe, who knows, maybe I wouldn't have to do such a, a convoluted, set, convoluted setup. But that's my controls. Um, if anybody has been doing this longer, has any advice for me, uh, feel free to put it in the comments. And anyways, that's, that's what I figured out. Uh, but definitely making these quick access helped me a lot. And and my boost and space brake just really didn't work here uh, for me, but I have rudder pedals. If you don't have rudder pedals, I don't, I don't know what you should do. So uh, that's all I got. Thanks for watching.